Good morning guys. So today's video is actually going to be a get ready with me morning routine kind of video because I thought it would be really fun to show you what my typical morning looks like and obviously I work from home all the time so my morning routine hasn't really changed that much in terms of what I actually do before I start work. So it's currently about 20 past 8 and this is normally the time where I really start to like actually pick up and start doing something. So I wake up typically about half six or seven, then I sit with Sam in the living room, we watch the news, watch a couple of vlogs, have a coffee, upload to Instagram because I do that at eight o'clock every morning and also that's when my vlog goes live. So I like to kind of like be online and be able to like share it to Instagram and stuff when it first goes up. And then at about 20 past, when I've got a bit bored of that, I start my morning routine so obviously my hair is like freshly put on top of my head because I'm about to go for a run okay so first things first we're gonna go with my skincare routine so before I go for my run I like to just cleanse my face and then I leave all the moisturizers and stuff till afterwards apart from I put SPF on so I cleanse I SPF I get back I re-cleanse and then I do my morning routine just so that I've got like my skin free of all the crap so that when I'm sweating it's not getting even worse so I've started using Bolt Beauty recently which is a really great company that do these little biodegradable pods so basically every pod is one use and you basically just open this little pod up put it on your face and obviously there's various different types so this is filthy clean which is the cleanser then I've also got glow don't shine is this yeah this is the purple one this is glow don't shine so this is more for like glowing then I've got a moisturizing one which is called mad about moisture and then I've also got this one which is vitamin a game so they're all four different parts of your routine and they're honestly so great so they come in little pots like this as you can see so they're really aesthetic for one. So I literally just like stack these up here much to Sam's dismay. And then you can also get this really cool little stacker. So basically if you travel, you can pop all of your beauty bits into here. So like I can pop my filthy clean ones, my moisture, my glow or whatever it is that I want to take. And then I can take maybe say for example, if I'm going for a week, I can take seven of each capsule rather than having to take these whole things, which I think is such a good idea because for me, this is like the perfect way to travel because then I've got all of my skincare in this handy little stack and not in like a whole big bulky thing. So I'm gonna go ahead now and use the Filthy Clean one, which is really great. So I'm just gonna take one of these out. Can I do it one-handed? Oh, I actually can. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this little capsule, head to the bathroom and take off. Well, not take off my makeup because it's already off, but cleanse my face, ready for my run. Okay, so I'm just going to rub this all over and cleanse my face. And one thing I actually wanted to mention is the pods are biodegradable. So they actually dissolve in water, but they're also recyclable. So if you did decide you just want to pop them in the bin, then you can totally do that as well. But I actually like dissolving mine in water and I actually find it really fun to watch them dissolve. So I've been doing that, but you can obviously do whichever is best for you. So I literally spend so long doing the like rubbing in because I just really like the feel of how soft it is on my skin. And it also smells really good. So just gonna rub this all in and then quickly rinse it off, pop my SPF on and get dressed. things ever and these are the only ones I actually have with a back pocket and I've actually lost my little running belt that I put my phone in so these are the ones that I'm wearing today um, then I've also got this little sweatshirt around my waist just for preference I like for comfort like running with one of these around me because I feel a bit more like covered but also because I think that they're really great for if I get a little bit chilly while I'm out because if I walk for a little bit I get a bit cold so I put one on I've got these Adidas trainers, which are the best thing ever for running. These are the Boost. I'll leave them linked. And then I've got a little Gymshark long sleeve top and obviously the Fitbit. So I'm just going to go downstairs, put my headphones on and get going. Okay, just got back from my run and actually managed to do 6K today, but I walked the last like one and a half because I've really hurt my hip. So didn't manage to get as much done as I originally wanted to, but I'm going to make myself a quick little smoothie. Let me turn the light on. So typically I don't normally do this, but I thought... I'm not getting much protein in my diet at the moment, so I want to try and make sure that I'm getting like a good burst of protein in the morning, which is partially why I even own the protein in the first place. So I've actually just got the 
my protein pea protein one and i've got one already in here so i'm gonna make myself a quick little shake and then put in some of the flav drops so the flav drops are honestly the best thing ever so they're like these little things like this and you basically use like five drops and put it into your smoothie or your protein shake and it basically flavors it because vegan protein is just a bit like it tastes like chalk so literally adding like a few of these makes it taste really good so i've got strawberry banana um vanilla or i've got one that's like chocolate peanut butter which i've not actually used yet because i'm not entirely sure how that's going to taste but maybe it'll be all right but today i'm going to use strawberry because that's one of my faves and where's my shaker okay got my little shaker i'm just going to make a quick smoothie i'm just going to do it with water because to be honest i can't really be bothered to do it with milk or anything i might do like half milk half water so that it's like a bit milky but a bit not i have to admit though this is one of the best ones that i have used in terms of taste some of them are so bad but this one's actually all right and once you add the flavor drops it just dramatically increases in goodness so strawberry drops are in i'm gonna put the teeniest little drizzle of oat milk and then top it up with some water and just give that a little shake and drink. And then I've also got a little thing left over of blueberries which I'm gonna finish just gonna make two uh, little breakfast. bag version as well in my drawer and i'm going to be using it for trips in the future but the range has actually only come out since we've been in quarantine so i haven't actually had the chance to use it outside yet but i know that when i go on trips it will come in very handy so i've emptied all my makeup out onto the counter and i'm just going to go through and just do my routine as normal with my little mirror sat on the desk here um i do normally do my makeup downstairs but i decided to do it up here because the lighting is better for you guys and i think it makes more sense if i'm doing it where you can actually see what i'm doing so First things first, I actually go in with some SPF. This is the La roche -Posay 30 SPF and it's really, really handy size. This is the main reason I use it to be honest because it's this really nice flat little bottle and it fits really nicely into a makeup bag, which I love. So I tend to just kind of lug this one around everywhere with me and I'm on my third bottle of it now um, with daily use. So definitely can vouch for the fact that I love it. I also think SPF every single day is so important, even if you're just sitting inside or you're just like walking around London on a really cold, like rainy day, it's so important to use daily SPF. And I obviously put some on this morning before my run, but I just like to put it on again because 
I don't know, I might end up going for another walk later. I mean, I probably probably won't let's be honest but it's just nice to have it on and also i sit in the office a lot where the windows are like on me and i don't want bad skin so i'm looking after it as much as i can um next up i'm gonna go in with my lashes so this is kind of something that started newly to my routine and i never used to do it and i kind of now can't live without them so i actually wear strip lashes every day at the moment and currently i'm wearing some from ilia i'm not sure exactly what ones they are but they come in a multi-pack so the other ones are here which are these ones and there was actually like mini like half ones the ones i use and those ones i've used them nearly every single day and they're still really good i just basically pick the glue off with like some oil based concealer concealer cleanser every night and they're absolutely fine i really love them so i put those on first and let them kind of glue on and then i do the rest of my face around them so that i haven't done my entire face and then i'm like trying to stick on lashes and they're just going really badly but to be honest these are the best ones i've used and i'm not really a lash person normally like i have never really been a person that wears strip lashes a lot but having previously worn them for like nights out and stuff when i was younger and tried them on the odd occasion during the day i just really really like these ones and as soon as we are back out of isolation i am 100 percent going to get my lash extensions back because i absolutely loved them and i really miss them um, I did try and infill them myself for a little while but that just didn't go to plan because the ones that I was trying to infill I was putting way too much glue on so they were like really thick and clumpy and one I kept just I, I basically picked one off and picked half them out so I just took them all off myself when I could have probably kept them. If you can recommend me good strip lashes actually I'd be really appreciative because I want to start trying like different strip lashes out and see which are best for me because I have friends who wear them every single day and love them so very intrigued as to like what I can start doing myself and what I can start wearing. Um, I probably haven't left these long enough to get tacky but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get them on. I think once you start mastering the art of putting on strip lashes they become so easy to stick on and you can just do them in seconds and it's just a breeze. Although this one is currently flicking off. Okay, we have one on. Shall I move you a bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing? That's probably better, isn't it? That's a better better view of my face. And then we'll go in with the second. I should probably use tweezers, but I think I've left them downstairs and I find it just as easy to get them on with my fingers. So that's what I normally do, is just put them on with my fingers. Lashes are on. I have filled in with the eyeliner and now we're gonna move on to my base. So I'm gonna start with foundation and then I actually put concealer on a second personal preference I don't really know why I do it but that's the order I like doing it in and the foundation I'm currently loving is this infallible matte cover L'Oreal this is in the shade 200 and I actually was kindly gifted this by L'Oreal with a couple of different shades and this is the darkest one that I have and it seems to be perfect for when I've got a tan and then I use 175 for when I'm not as tanned which is also really really nice and I love the coverage of this because it's got a really good coverage for a cheaper foundation and it's also just really nice and lightweight so it doesn't feel like you're wearing too much makeup which is a bonus because I find when it's too heavy and too cakey I just want to get it off as soon as I get in and I don't want to have it on my face anymore <laughs> because I like feeling like I'm not wearing makeup but knowing that I am which I think is quite a common thing to be honest I think a lot of people think that way. Next we're going in with concealer so I'm currently using this Giorgio Armani one and this is number five it's the power fabric concealer and it's so good and also it's lasted me absolutely ages i've had this for maybe like three months now and i use it every single day and it's still not run out which is great especially considering the amount that i slap on when i've got spots because right now my skin has never looked worse and i don't know whether it's just quarantine or what maybe it's like a lack of fresh air but i've noticed that my skin is just absolutely breaking out which is so not cool but these things happen, what can you do? I've been wearing makeup a lot less and trying to really up my skincare routine. So maybe it's just stress or something, or maybe it's like a bad diet because obviously being in isolation, I'm definitely eating way more biscuits and stuff than I usually do, which is more than likely the reason that my skin is so bad. Okay, then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this liquid highlight from, whoa, that just shot out, from Bare Minerals. So this is the shade Whimsy and it's just one of their little glow ones. 
it's really nice it's like a little pinky kind of tone so it's a lot more translucent than the one i normally use but i've been really enjoying it this week and i'm trying to kind of mix up my makeup ever so slightly at the moment because i've noticed i keep just using the same products on repeat and i get so many products in my drawer that never get touched so i'm trying to give them their moment to shine you know so i'm just going to dab that all over my collarbone collarbone it's not my collarbone it's my cheekbone guys i'm so not a makeup artist like a lot of people ask me for my everyday makeup routines and i always laugh because i'm like i do not know what i'm doing i kind of just slap it on and hope for the best and then i watch like makeup girls and i'm like oh i've been using that wrong this entire time <laughs> but i think that's so many of us like, i think a lot of us just kind of wing it and just literally chuck it on and hope for the best um okay now that's on I'm going to go in with my contour which I do contour quite heavy and I go over with a couple of different things so I always put my highlight on first because I like to kind of make sure that the highlight is in the right place and then it doesn't bleed over to the bronzed area and for bronzer I use this L'Oreal Infallible I think it's in the shade Caramel um, and it's basically a concealer which I just use as a contour because I think it's really nice and you can kind of control the amount and I find that a lot of contour sticks just aren't dark enough which i think is really frustrating because if you are looking to contour your face you obviously want like a definitive contour you don't want it to be like so subtle that you might as well have just not bothered putting the product on the battery just died we are back as i was saying i've done this kind of contour style for years and i know that like there's a lot of different ways to do it a lot of people bake their makeup and i'm just not i don't really know what i'm doing enough to do all of these things so i literally just do like the basics which i think to be honest i think a lot of us do like i fully appreciate and respect girls who can really do their makeup because it is such an art and a skill that i just don't have <laughs> like i think the fact that i even put eyeshadow on my eyes and just use one color all over with a strip lash is like more than i've ever normally done so we're gonna just take a moment to appreciate my lack of skill i feel like i copy tutorials sometimes and i'm like this is not what theirs looks like and this is not the same kind of thing like it looks so different but i guess that just comes with like skill and just knowing what you're doing and i just don't really know what i'm doing but next up we're going in with some bronzer and some highlights this is just a nars contour palette which is atomic blonde so this is eye and cheek palette and it's basically got like four shades across the top which you can use in your eyes and then you've got the two at the bottom here which as you can see are heavily used so i use this like every single day and if i go anywhere on a trip or something normally i just use the palette as my eyes as well because it saves me taking too many products and also the colors are so beautiful in it especially like the coppery tone which if you have seen any of my instagram pictures or videos or stuff i use copper nearly every single day on my eyes and i absolutely love it i just think it makes my eyes look a lot more green and i just really like coppery colors i think they really complement my eyes and they make me look a bit more tanned <laughs> but that's basically my base done and then depending on kind of whether i'm filming or not i do actually have a kiko translucent powder in here which is really good and i love this and a brush but i only really do it if i'm like between filming or if i'm going out to shoot pictures and stuff because i want to really set my makeup and i don't want to end up shiny but if i'm just staying home like i am at the moment then i don't really bother um to be honest i don't really wear makeup on days when i'm at home unless i'm filming or taking pictures which today i have a few pictures that i want to get done like just mirror selfies and stuff so i want to make sure my makeup looks good and also i'm filming this video because i forgot to film it yesterday so that's why i'm doing my makeup today normally i just wouldn't bother um but i'm trying to make it so like at least every other day of quarantine i make an effort because i always feel like i'm a bit more productive when i've done my makeup as opposed to when i just kind of don't do anything and i don't know what it is like i feel like if i just get up and leave my hair as it is and just redo a bun and then don't wear any makeup and just put clothes on i don't feel as like ready for the day i feel like i'm still slobbing it a bit so i just like to put on at least a base and some brows and then obviously strip lashes are just really easy because you just chuck them on and you don't have to do anything else so it's not like you have to like fully do your mascara and stuff okay then brows i'm using a nude by nature brow palette which is my all-time favorite i've used these for years i just keep replacing them and i'm going in with a real techniques brow brush 
And basically, I just really gently swipe it through and I don't put too much product because I used to make my brows super, super, super defined and it was great at the time, but now looking back, I'm like, what were you thinking? Because they were literally so thick on my face and I just don't like that kind of style anymore. So what I do is I basically just push this through to kind of thicken them up a bit. So as you can see, it's like ever so slightly thicker than the other one and a little tiny bit darker because I need to get some brow dye and tint them. But I just haven't obviously got around to ordering any at the moment. And to be honest, I think I can do without it. It's not something I need to do. I've been thinking about like different things to do with quarantine. Like I was chatting to two of my best friends about it the other day. And we were saying like all the things that we're probably going to change when we get out. I feel like I sound like we're talking like we're in prison, but I mean like we all get our nails done all the time and we all get, like I get my lashes done. I think one of the other girls does as well. And we all get our brows done and like all these different beauty treatments. And we were saying how like there's so many different things that when we're out of quarantine, we probably wouldn't necessarily spend the money on, which I'm totally sure I will go against and probably still end up doing. Like I'll probably still go for the occasional brow wax because I think... My brows grow really slowly, like I last had mine waxed maybe December and it's now April and I still haven't had them waxed. I plucked like the odd hair out the other day but they are still, like they don't really grow in any other shape than this, like I don't really get any other hairs so they're quite good in that sense because I don't really need to. I don't know, maybe I'll go against this and maybe I'll go do it when I get out of isolation but I just feel like there's so many different things I'll maybe stop doing as much like I bought an at-home gel kit which I'll leave linked and I started doing my own gels at home and I'm not gonna lie it was so quick and easy and they look so good that I actually don't think I'd go and get my nails done again like I literally did these myself and I don't really have any nails at the moment they're very 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 short but I can do them myself so easily I don't really need to go into a salon and pay like 30 pounds a time to get them done when I bought a one-off kit for like 50 pounds and I can just do them myself. And also it's quite fun because then if I have friends and stuff over, we can just do each other's nails and like have a pamper evening and save loads of money. Because I think it cost me like 17 pounds to buy a pack of six nail varnishes, which to be honest, I probably, I probably would buy other ones. Like I'd buy the odd one, which is like three pounds or something, but I don't really need any more than the colors that I have for now. And then winter, I maybe will buy like some nudes or something, but it's so easy to do. And it's so nice to just sit and do your own nails and like relax. So there's so many things I just wouldn't spend money on anymore. And I think lashes definitely, because I really enjoy having lash extensions. I think they're so much easier than having to take off strips and put them back on every day. And they're just, I just love them. But I think nails is definitely one that I would stop. Like, do you think there's any that you would change? Like, let me know in the comments what beauty treatments you maybe won't be getting when you get back out of quarantine. Like, is there anything you've learned to do yourself? Is there anything that you're thinking you maybe just could cut out of your routine and save a bit of money on? I'm intrigued. Okay, we've done the brows. I realized I just talked through doing the second part of that. So once I've done the brow palette and just put through like the powder product in my brows, I go through with Gimme Brow and I basically just kind of like set them a little bit and I always flick them up a bit so that they're kind of like a bit more natural looking because I like when they look a bit more fluffy. And then I'm gonna go on with mascara for my bottom lashes because I really like having my bottom lashes. I think they just look really like Bambi eyed and ironically, this is the L'Oreal Bambi eye mascara, which is new into my stash and it's really, really good. I haven't yet tried it on my top lashes because I've just always had like strips or extensions, but on my bottom lashes, it's so nice. So that is basically my everyday kind of base of makeup and like my standard makeup that I do. And then sometimes I add eyeshadow and lipstick, which I'm going to do in a minute. But I'm going to go downstairs and brush my teeth first, and then I'll come back up and do both in the same time. But I wanted to quickly mention how good the Bolt Beauty products are as well for a base, because I basically use them, obviously, as you saw, under all of my makeup. And they're really, really soft, and they're almost like the perfect primer. So I do sometimes use primer, but when I've been using these products, I find that I just don't need it. And, and where the Mad About Moisture is so moisturising, and the other one's quite glowy, they basically give you the two things that a primer would give you anyway and they hold my makeup really nicely which I love so definitely recommend and just such a great band like I am really excited for you guys to potentially try them out because I 
have never been so in love with some skincare in my life so i know that you guys will probably love it too but let me go downstairs and brush my teeth and i'll come back upstairs and finish off okay going in with the lips and eyeshadow so the eyeshadow palette i use every single day is this one spare minerals gen nude and it's the copper palette and as you can see the one that has been heavily dented is the copper so i actually tend to go in with my finger because of the fact that i use the lashes and i just like pat it all over my eyelid like so and then i basically go in with the brush after i've done this because i just find otherwise it ends up absolutely smothering the lashes which i don't obviously want i'm just gonna dab 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 dabby dab dab and then i just go in with a brush and just blend it out but also just kind of smooth it around a little bit as well as you can tell i am such a pro <laughs> even now like half my strip lash is falling off but i'm gonna fix it in a sec actually let me fix that now there we go and then for lipstick i actually use a combo of two different products so i've got the charlotte tilbury penelope pink which is a really gorgeous like nudey shade and it's not really pink at all but it's like a really nice kind of nude with a very slight pink undertone and then i actually finish it with some of the fenty beauty glass slipper lip gloss because i think it just gives that really nice glossy finish that's basically my winning combo for right now but i also do use the fenty stunner lip paint in unbutton which is so nice it's one of the nicest shades ever and that's what i used to use for like my everyday and it's very similar to these but it doesn't have the sheen it's kind of like quite a matte color so really really like that if you're looking for a kind of everyday and one pot of that or one like bottle lasted me so long so i've had it about a year and i'm only just on the second one okay so that's what penelope pink looks like as you can see it very much is a nude and it's not too pink at all but it's like a really nice color and then going in with the glass slipper it's so sticky <laughs> once it's on it's not that bad and i basically just dab it and rub it and don't put too much on because i don't want to cover the um wand with the pink because i use it over so many different ones and i think it gives like quite a nice little subtle little bit of something <laughs> but that is basically my everyday makeup and then i'm gonna go in with my hair now and all i'm gonna do is chuck in a tiny bit of dry shampoo and straighten it back out because it was straight but obviously where it's been pulled in a bun it's probably i mean let's have a look at how bad this situation is it's probably like all kinds of i mean it's not actually that bad it's fairly straight still it's just it needs a bit of a brush and a bit of oil through the ends because it goes really dry when it's greasy so i need to give a little bit of dry shampoo to the roots because they're really oily and then a little bit of oil to the ends because they're really dry i basically just section off all my hair and chuck in loads of the batiste dry shampoo this is the hint of color for blondes which i think is really nice if you have really dark roots because i tend to just pop it on when my roots are overgrowing a little bit and it gives a really nice subtle little hint of blonde to my roots and it also doesn't give that white residue which i love so i just chuck in a little bit of this and then to finish off my hair i just chuck in a tiny bit of the olaplex bonding oil which is the number seven and i literally just dab like the tiniest bit in my hands and just smooth it through the ends really gently because obviously where it's an oil you don't want too much of it but i also find that a little bit goes a really long way with this one so i just literally put it through the ends and then very very lightly on the top just so it gets rid of any like wispies but it's such a nice oil and it's lasting me so long i've had it for absolutely ages and i've barely even got away from the lid which is really really good <laughs> but that's basically how i do my hair and then i guess i just sit around the house and just drink tea to be honest <laughs> But that is basically how I get ready in the morning and how I do my makeup and my hair during this really weird isolation time. But actually, how I do my hair and makeup pretty much every single other day of the week anyway. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I will leave links to all of the products used in this video down below. And don't forget to check out Bolt Beauty because they are genuinely such great products and I really, really love them and can vouch for the fact they are amazing. I highly recommend, especially if you are someone who travels a lot and doesn't want like big bulky products and stuff because their travel stack is such a good idea and it's honestly just such a good brand for the environment and I really, really like them and they're also not that expensive. So I'll leave all the links to that down below and I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in my next one. <laughs>